Hello everyone, welcome to another Extraordinary Adventures video and in this video we're going to go ahead and talk about the Game Boy Crimson. Now to get Game Boy Crimson, you'll need King Crimson. So here's a proof that I actually got myself King Crimson. So let me just um, check yeah, me. So I have King Crimson right now. You need King, King Crimson and a Shiny Diary. Go ahead and use this shiny diary, and once you use it, and then you click Q, you'll be able to get the Game Boy Crimson. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and check myself if I actually have the Game Boy Crimson. As you can see here, Game Boy Crimson. So let's just go ahead and talk about this. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and equip it. Click Q to equip your Game Boy Crimson. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and show it. So the first thing I'm going to show is how it looks like. As you can see here, this is what it looks like. Um, this is what it looks like when you do the punching. This is what it looks like when you click Z. It's gonna do a stand jump. This is what it looks. It, this is what it's going to look like when you hold X. This is blocking. Clicking C does a rollover. Um, G for posing, but it actually doesn't work. N for the words at the top. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's go ahead and talk about the move set for the game, which is of course the first one is going to be the game boy blow so go ahead and click um e and you're gonna do a strong punch using your left arm and this deals an incredible strong fatal blow towards the opponent and this actually has knockback meaning that you'll be able to throw them a little bit in a short distance so yeah now let's go with the r the r you need to it's called the game boy chop you click r and then you do a chop so pretty simple, it just does an extremely powerful chop to the, to the opponent using its right arm and it can actually deal a superior, superior amount of damage and it's very good for combos. And also, the um, ragdoll or not, the, the chop actually gives ragdoll so they'll be like ragdoll, they'll be moving and everything, they won't be able to move for a few seconds. Now let's go to the ne next one is the gaming future site. Go ahead and click T, and what this does is you'll be using Epitaph, you're going to have this red eye, and whoever is going to go ahead and attack me um, when I have this red eye, I will be able to dodge their attacks, meaning that I will not be getting any damage. They will be just missing, okay? They'll just be missing damage. It will not be hitting anything on me. So, pretty nice. Um... If you have the epitaph, which is the future side, when you click T, you can undo it by clicking T again. If you don't see, I can click T again, and I can do, undo it if I don't like it. By the way, Over Heaven and Requiem Stand can act, uh, can completely ignore this move, meaning that they, if they attack me, they can deal damage towards me. So, if you're trying to fight with an Over Heaven and a Requiem Stand, I don't really recommend you to having the ha using this epitaph okay now let's go to the next one which is the y for the y it's called the game boy kick you click y and boom you just do, do a kick so this kick here you kick your opponent and you will be able to deal an incredible amount of damage this um kick can also send your opponents flying up in the air for some few seconds and then falling down and then they won't be able to move in a few seconds when they do fall down so yeah that's that now let's go to the next one, which is the Game Boy Thrust. You go ahead and click H. Now as you can see, you're going to do just a punch. Now this left fist punch here is a thrust, and then you can it, and it's aiming towards the opponent's torso, which is dealing an incredible amount of damage. Now let's go to the next one, which is the F. The F is called Inside the Game Boy. Now when you click F, everything's going to turn into this. Oh god, Jesus Christ. Look here, everything is totally broken. Oof, look at that. I can't even see myself. I think I turned invisible. It will only um, work in a few seconds. And as you can see here, when you're, uh, when you use this inside the Game Boy, it's going to erase time for up to 10 seconds. And then it has, it's going to have a 20 seconds cooldown. I will be invisible and my walking speed will be, be a ton. I can walk even faster. By the way, when, when you're... Um, erase time is done you can actually 
uh, your other moves will uh, be blocked. So you have to reset yourself to be able to use your other moveset again. So, uh, yes, I'm going to go ahead and click uh, equip it. As you see, I am able to use it once again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try the F again because apparently you can also um, click J inside the erase time and I want to check out what it does so we're gonna erase time we're gonna click um, J uh, nothing's happening with J I don't know what's happening with J but the, nothing's happening with it so we're gonna go ahead and reset again because once again we cannot use any move set when we are done with that so we have to reset ourselves and of course we have to try the last and final um, move set which is the Game Boy Erasure Shift. Now this Game Boy Erasure Shift, you just click V. And as you can see there, I'm gonna briefly teleport in just a few studs. It's not that helpful, but again, it's a kind of helpful since it teleports you a little bit, but not a lot. So yes, this is pretty useful when you're trying to run away or probably catch up to some person. But since it doesn't really give that much stud, as you see here, not that's not a lot. It's like this half stud so yeah that's pretty much that so the uh, erasure shift was the last move that you can do using the game boy Kim game boy crimson so i don't really have anything else to say about this stand so if you have any more question about this stand i would recommend you to go ahead and ask them or just watch a different youtuber's video because that's all i know about the stand that's literally everything yeah, that would be it for this video.